Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And in today's video, we're going to be hunting down a vampire, which is um, located somewhere in St. Denis. But we need to find some scrolls which are arched into um, different buildings around St. Denis. As you can see, I've marked a couple of points on the map um, where we need to go uh, as markers. So the first scroll is here, then we've got another one over here. Uh, another one down the bottom near the butchers and then we've got two here in the alleyway um, This marker here is where the actual vampire does spawn So we're going to ignore that one for now And we are going to start with this bad boy up here because it is the closest one to me As you can see it's just above the N in the the title Denis And uh, we're going to go there now So when you're going to make your way down the road to the marker It is just going to be on your right hand side as you can see down this alleyway We we'll jump off the horse and it is on this building here, in between two white doors. You're going to approach it, and then he should write it in his journal. When you inspect it, obviously. There we go. That is number one. We're going to jump back on the horse, and we are going to go to the next point. All right, so here we go, guys. We're now going to make our way down to the next engraving, which we'll find just down the road. We don't want to get run over by that tram. Shit, they, they run slow. Come on, move. Move, bitch. Get out the way. So we're going to take a slower chart than I was anticipating. Down to this place. So we're going to bypass the arch. And we're going to go through this gate on the right-hand side. Smash through there. And there you can see, write text on the wall. Inspect that bitch. And you'll sketch it in your journal. Right, so as you can see guys, the next one is going to be in this location right here, um, in between the butchers and the general store. As I zoom out a little bit, you'll see exactly whereabouts in St. Denis it is. So, we're going to make our way there now. So when you get to this point, you go jump off your horse, and then you can run through these doors here, all the way through the general store. And there it is, on the wall. Same as always, we go walk up to it, inspect it, and you go write it in your journal. So the fourth location is going to be down an alleyway. Um, in this kind of, I'd say, well, it's like an axe-shaped alleyway. Uh, if I pull out a little bit, you can see exactly whereabouts it is. It is literally just down the road from the butchers where we got the um, the last script from. Uh, so we're going to make our way there now. So when you make your way down the road from the butchers, you'll see that you come to this alleyway um, where the tailors is and kind of like a Coca-Cola. Well, it's not a Coca-Cola, but it's reminiscent of a Coca-Cola sign on the wall. You then want to go down this alleyway and then we're going to take a right into the axe, <laughs> into the axe alleyway, then left and into this little area here. And the other script is just on the wall there. Same as always, we're going to inspect and write it in that motherfucking journal. So the fifth and final piece to this puzzle, guys, is located in the same sort of area as the last one. Um, you are going to approach the same alleyway as last time, and it is this marker here on the map. It's kind of like a shoehorn or magnet kind of shape uh, but it's just up the way from the last marker so we'll go have a look at it now if we quickly go back into here as you can see we're at the same alleyway where the tailors and the coca-cola sign is so this time we're going to go this way we're going to skip the right turn we're going to go straight up through this gate then we go up the stairs a little bit to the right across these set of stairs here and then we're going to take a right here and then the left and there it is on the wall in red writing same as always, we are going to inspect that motherfucker and write it in our journal. Well, my dude, so after you've found all the scripts which are written on the side of the building, uh, you do want to go and sleep um, probably a couple of nights. You want to leave it at least 24 hours uh, before you go to the next marker, which is on the map right now. And you want to go there at night time. If you do that, you sleep a couple of nights, you wait until night time and you go there and this 
X here marked corpse is not there, it hasn't triggered. So you need to go back, sleep another 24 hours, wait until night time again, come back and then see if it is triggered then. Um, but you need to wait until night time for this to happen. And you have to come to this area in St. Denis. I have put the marker there. That's sort of like the entrance into when you walk through. You'll see in a moment anyway. And uh, the vampire is in the alleyway there feasting on this corpse. But like I said, you do need to wait at least 24 hours after you've found all the scripts on the wall. Um, it has to be at night time when you have to come to this location uh, to find the vampire. And as you can see, it has triggered for me right now. I have the corpse um, logo icon whatever you like to call it on the map right now and as you can see i'm just around the corner so what we're going to do now we are going to get there and uh we're going to check this vampire out so when you get to here um you don't really want to be riding your horse into it so you want to hitch it just around about here so then your horse ain't going to cause no problems and it's not going to get in the way of what you need to do so once you hitch your horse up uh you kind of want maybe i don't know do you want a weapon Maybe we'll, we'll try and lasso him if we can. So we're going to equip it for now. So if I bring it out, I can bring it out quick as that. Uh, so you do want to come through here. And he is just in here to the right. And it should now trigger a little cutscene. So, you found me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stay back, for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. Yeah, you're no more a vampire than I am. I'll suck you dry. Oh, he wants to suck me dry. What? No, 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 no. What have I done? You got knocked the fuck out. Fucking get up from that, you prick. Fucking nonce cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Look, at kill me now. <laughs> oh, God. Second time, like, we have actually killed him this time and uh, you're going to loot him, you get some bat wings and obviously you get that dagger as well which is a, another rare weapon which is just down here, there we go, L1 pick it up, lovely jubbly let's have a little close up with this ugly bastard yeah oh shit there's the corpse oh god so there you have it that is how you hunt down a vampire in Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, but that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Yeah, they used to laugh at me, but who the fuck is laughing now? From the trenches,